Uh, for the most part, about 75% practice really good. Had a little, a little law, but then picked it up. Proud of them when they did it. Practicing better, execution better, getting getting better at some things. Yeah. Question? With Wake Forest, it seems like they have a, a hard time on special teams. How is that going to help you with the field position going into the game? Well, if they have a hard time. They're pretty well coached on that. But you want to win it. You want to win that battle field position. I mean, where you start, how you call the game, your opportunities for points. I mean, you know, it, it, you've got good field position. If you get one or two first downs, you get points. You know what I mean? There, there's a huge volume of that. It's supposed to be bad weather up there this weekend. The field position will be extremely good. How much have you guys needed that? It seems like on offense you haven't had a ton of great field. We haven't all year. We have, we've been backed up almost every time we've gotten it. And, uh, you know, that's hard. I mean, I, I say that. When you go start driving 80, 90 yards, unless you're a really special offense, you don't do that a lot. Or the other team's really bad. You know what I'm saying? We haven't had any of those. So uh, we've had some of those drives, but we got to get better at them. But it makes you sustain. You know what I'm saying? And when that field position battle is critical. Should be a preparation for the uh, possible time of matter here for the wet ball. Say, what else do you do to try to figure Just do that. Just make it handle it. Hopefully, it gets I thought it was going to get a little bit more today. I was hoping it rained a little bit today. It did some in the beginning of practice, off and on, but not enough. I wish it would do a little bit more to do it. But just things we work on, and we work with wet balls and have plans to throw them, dry them, all that good stuff afterwards. So hopefully, it'll be good. Lorenzo, how's he done through the first two days? Good. That's what I just said. He made a heck of a play right there, tipped the ball right at the end, right there on the rush, and you see him getting better and better every day. They prepare for their quarterback situation. I think their starters questionable right now? There is. I mean, you just got to play for both. I mean, they're very similar. The other guy runs a little bit better. The other guy throws a little bit better. But they're both very good players. So, you know, we'll, we have to have a plan for them either way. The defense is doing a really good job of forcing three and outs. How much does that affect how you play the game? Some. I mean, it does, big time. Because it goes back to field position. That's why you got to cover kicks. And it's important when you cover kicks and you get field position, you get three and outs. Then you get a return. That's why we got to pick up a return game and a punt return game because, you know, you can't give up, you know, 45, 50 yards of a punt like that sometimes, too. So we got to get better than all that. But those three and outs are critical. Is Bobo still the guy back there? Yeah, oh, yeah. Had nothing to do with him. Had nothing to do with him. You had Derwin off the edge a little bit against DC. How do you think he did in, in that capacity? Okay, he spied. We, we used him in a couple of different things. It was just some blitz packages we brought him on. And he's growing in what he can do. How important is that to a young guy's development field to find situations to get him in? And, and well, in today's grow? game, if you're not a smart guy, you got to be able to play situational football. You got you to be multifaceted as far as your talents and what you can play because the game is, it, look at it in pro ball. I mean, everybody is a specialist. And the more things you can do, the more things you can specialize in, the more you play. He's got the body to do it. Now he's and he's, he's a very smart guy. He's his knowledge of what's going on. He has a chance to be one of those guys that you can use in a lot of different capacities. But you got to give him time. He's still a freshman. Well, I say, for finding a role for like a freshman. Oh yeah. Not even just Derwin, but just anyone. To get oh, any of those guys. Bit. They got to find a niche. And that's the thing about football today. Now, it used to be if you wanted to start, you never played. Well, that's not the, that's not the case anymore because there's so many different situations that can occur in football now. You know, you can find guys and, to do that. Rubo and Kelly at right tackle, those guys still pretty much co yeah. starters right there? Yeah, right there. That? Probably uh, Kelly will probably start, but Rubo's going fine playing, taking a lot of reps too. Luxury to have two guys there. Oh, yeah, most doubt. They have played in the game. How do you think Rod has done being the leader of the offensive line? Solidly. I think he's growing into that role. You know, because Rod is not naturally a talker, but he's a very smart guy. You know what I'm saying? But he, as far as assignments and what he does, by example, is doing a really good job. Where would you judge where the receivers are at right now? Okay. Got to keep developing. Got to keep growing. Anybody just during practices the last week or this week? No, I mean, they're, they've all had pretty good days. We're uh -huh. playing better. I mean, our expectations are extremely high. And the standard's very high. I mean, you got to. I mean, that, that's that's the way we do things. And uh, I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not disappointed, but there's still tons of room for improvement. You said so much about chunk plays this year. Looking at Wake, it seems like there are defense that they've been giving up. 15, 20, 50 yard plays has much been said to the offense about looking for those weaknesses. Well, we, we got we got to take advantage. We have our chunk plays or our advantages. We got to, we got to make them. And a lot of times your chunk plays don't always come on chunk. They come on just running your base thing. You can execute and hit seam routes or hit overs or hit or even running the football. You block everybody. We've gotten big runs, but you know we've got to. But in football today, you have to have your chunk plays. Is Mario out of the hospital? No, not yet. And I keep saying going to, but then they keep holding. Right. Do you think the um, it's it's center much you play more than one guy, or are you just sticking with Corey? Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what goes on. But right now, we'll stay where we're at. Y'all are allergic to going young. Y'all got some bad cologne. It's got to be Corey. Yeah, right. He doesn't even 